our lives, we have two possibilities, indulging in the world or going beyond the world. The Buddha was someone who was able to free himself from the world and thus realize spiritual liberation. In the same way, there are two types of knowledge, knowledge of the worldly realm and knowledge of the spiritual or true wisdom. If we have not yet practiced and trained ourselves, no matter how much knowledge we have, it is still worldly and thus cannot liberate us. Think and really look closely. The Buddha said that things of the world spin the world around. Following the world, the mind is entangled in the world. It defiles itself whether coming or going, never remaining content. Worldly people are those who are always looking for something, who can never find enough. Worldly knowledge is really ignorance. It isn't knowledge with clear understanding. Therefore, there is never an end to it. It revolves around the worldly goals of accumulating things, gaining status, seeking praise and pleasure. It's a mass of delusion which has us stuck fast. Once we get something, there is jealousy, worry and selfishness. And when we feel threatened and can't ward it off physically, we use our minds to invent all sorts of devices, right up to weapons and even nuclear bombs, only to blow each other up. Why all this trouble and difficulty? This is the way of the world. The Buddha said that if one follows it around, there is no reaching an end. Come to practice for liberation. It isn't easy to live in accordance with true wisdom, but whoever earnestly seeks the path and fruit and aspires to Nibbana will be able to persevere and endure. Endure being contented and satisfied with little, eating little, sleeping little, speaking little, and living in moderation. By doing this, we can put an end to worldliness. If the seed of worldliness has not yet been uprooted, then we are continually troubled and confused in a never-ending cycle. Even when you come to ordain, it continues to pull you away. It creates your views, your opinions, it colors and embellishes all your thoughts. That's the way it is. People don't realize. They say that they will get things done in the world. It's always their hope to complete everything. Just like a new government minister who is eager to get started with his new administration. He thinks that he has all the answers. So he cards away everything of the old administration saying, Look out, I'll do it all myself. That's all they do, card things in and card things out, never getting anything done. They try, but never reach any real completion. You can never do something which will please everyone. One person likes a little, another likes a lot. One likes short and one likes long. Some like salty and some like spicy. To get everyone together and in agreement just cannot be done. All of us want to accomplish something in our lives, but the world, with all of its complexities, makes it almost impossible to bring about any real completion. Even the Buddha, born with all the opportunities of a noble prince, found no completion in the worldly life.